Hi. So today we are inside the campus of Triple IT Hyderabad, and we got Ayush. Ayush belongs to Maharashtra, right? And he is from Department of CSE, Computer Science Engineering, a four-year degree in BTEC in Computer Science. He is the ideal person who can give us all information about the campus, about the admission procedure, about the rank and all. He got admission into year 2023 and he is a very interesting case because he wrote JE main, JE advanced, uh, but he is through a quota, you know, that we would love to learn. Now the thing is that from year 2024, under DASA quota, there is no need of writing JE main, there is only one thing which is known as SAT, digital SAT, 94 portions of math and English to be solved within 130 years. For that, test prep part is here. We have been sending this student in bulk who have written SAT here at Triple IT Hyderabad. So now, let's just start our dialogue with Ayush. Ayush, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, just in some preparation is going on. Right. We heard that tomorrow you are having... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, I mean, uh, that uh, Akash, you told us. Uh -huh. uh, fine. Now, the thing is that, Ayush, why a student who is studying in US or say in Middle East, Saudi or UAE should join Triple IT Hyderabad? Okay, so basically Triple IT is like an uh, institute, it is actually the best private uh, engineering college in whole India. Uh, Many of them they don't even know that is a private institution because it's a stature is something you know, very mm -hmm. different. Yeah. And uh, so that is one case. So the peer, the peer group which you have over here, you have uh, students from everywhere, like you have the DASA quota and so it's very good, it's a very good peer group plus uh, there are many foreign opportunities also, the profs are very good over here. So let's say if you want to do honours, uh, because the DASA students join through the single degree, most of them, there are few who are there in dual degrees. But especially who want to do honors or the dual degree students also who want to pursue research, there are some very good profs who can give you more foreign opportunities for doing the, your PhD and stuff. And plus uh, there is placements, obviously people look at placements. Great. So placements are very good yeah, in this. Good. Yeah. Now, how many courses are there here in the Department of Computer Science Engineering at undergrad level? Okay, so um, for first year, um, in first semester, we had five courses. One was uh, DS. I'm not talking about the break of the semester. Just okay. Like, you know, we have got about two courses. One is the BTEC in Computer Science Engineering. Uh -huh. Another is the dual degree that you get in Computer Science okay. and MS. Okay. So there are two courses only or there is any third course as well? No. Uh, so basically the breakup is first you have BTEC. In, that is the four year courses, be taken CSE, be taken EC. And then there are five year courses that is be taken in CS. In CS also, there are specializations in research. So one is specialization in computer science for research for your MS degree. One is specialization in natural sciences that is a research on PCM. Mm. Then you have specialization on linguistics. That is a research on language models, AI and all that stuff. And then you have specialization in humanities. So where you research in sociology, philosophy, but along with... Social impact of net on society. Yeah, yeah but along uh, like combining um, computer science in that. Okay. So researching in these fields using computer science. So that is your BTEC in CS. And you also have BTEC in EC, but with... Uh, specialization in electronics. Great. So Ayush, uh, basically your voice is reaching to the students all over the world, you know, wherever they are in which time zone. Mm -hmm. I would like to know something about your educational background. Educational background. Okay, so basically I did my 12th standard till 12th I was in Pune only. Mm -hmm. Till 10th I was in the same school from nursery to 10th I studied in DAV public school. And in 11, 12th, I was in a dummy college because of the J prep. So yeah. I joined the institute. Yeah. Yeah. They get into the dummy college. Yeah. But yeah. They go to the either very hard personal study or they go to the coaching institutes. And yes. Yes. That's it. Yes. So you, you did your 12th. What was your J main rank? 
um i got around 26513 something okay. like that you in may yes but i could not i just missed the cut off of clearing so then it. what was your educational qualification that you you know got as a parachute in such a great okay situation? so this college is the only college and only private college which uh, takes in people from a very very varied variety of modes so you have the dasa quota for the dasa people dasa quota is for those who are staying out of it yeah exactly yeah. then you have the j mains admission mode for btech for yeah. four years you have the ugwe that is their own exam yes. for your five year courses yeah, there is one uh, also one which is lateral entry yeah, yeah that is you can join directly in the second year okay yeah so what was your qualification that you got into mine was boards so boards. you can join through boards board you are from minus maharashtra ma, uh, in 11 12 mine was maharashtra state board. what is the percentage that you got um i in total i got 84% but the criteria is here actually different for joining so there are two branches um for correction i am not in btech in cse mine is btech in cs and specialization in humanities so i am in dual degree five year course right so for joining through boards there are two branches which you can join one is mine that is specialization in humanities and btech and cs and the other one is btech and cs and specialization in natural sciences that is cnd and mine is so called chd uh, you know i would definitely like to give you all the credit that uh, you never lost your patience you never got disappointed you had to make it to this place yes and you did it and i'm quite sure that in future you are going to come out with a great flying color yeah that's it. so are you still as something about the uh, you know the fee that you paid for this institution okay fee um as of now i don't remember that much because just a tentative by Okay, is it semester wise or altogether fees paid in? No, no, semester wise. It is semester wise. So semester wise, how much? Um, if I do a rough approximation, it would be two lakh around per semester. Yeah, per semester. Fine. But so is, this is for the non-NRI students. Yeah. Uh, the NRI students NRI who come. NRI student fee a little different. Yeah, it's a little bit higher. We wish you can watch that. You know, we have given the detailed description about the fee we are at the flight here. But definitely for Indian students, it is sixteen twenty lakh. The students who are out of India, for them it is thirty six to forty lakh. We are giving a hint over here. Now, are you still as something about the campus environment? I mean, your peer friends group, mm -hmm. the intellectual students, the professor, and all. Okay, so the professors are amazing over here because they they teach really well. Peer group is basically very good because uh, you have firstly you have. Entry through so many modes, and plus you have entry through CSE, so B Tech, J Mains. So you have people who have scored around rank ten, rank nine in Mains, plus advanced also they scored like rank eight hundred or something, and they too come over here. So there are students who are like very very intelligent, and plus there are normal students who do all stuff like they study also, they do all other. Uh, fun activities that are there, all the cultural events that happen, they take part in it. But they study also. Ayush, what message would you like to give to students all over the world who are planning, especially the students who are staying out of India, mm -hmm. who are planning to join Triple IIT Hyderabad? I would like to tell you that you know we have a big base of students. We have been teaching them in Middle East, US, Southeast Asia, and Europe, etc. For this J, N, E, S, A, T, and all. That that's why I made the comment that the students who come here at I I meet many students who come here first on the camera. Three four students they 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 say that okay you are many from Tesla Park, and we got our sad coaching from Tesla Park, right? Oh. So I just want to know from you because you are definitely from a great stream, probably the hottest stream, which is computer science and engineering. And best thing is that you are maintaining a fine balance between the science and humanities. Yeah. This is really something I I. You know, because even if you see the the education system in US, you know, mm -hmm. you can take one science, one math, something you can choose some elementary subject, you can go for music or poem or English literature and all, sociology, history, whatever you feel like. Right? Mm -hmm. There is something like that. Okay. So, what message you would like to give to the students who are staying out of India as why they should join Triple IIT Hyderabad? Okay. Um. Basically, I would like to just tell that. this is a very good institute a premier institute and 
if you want to make really good friends and have uh, have a very good peer peer group basically this is your institute and plus obviously placements are good in this campus what about the learning environment what are the relationship between the professors and the students and among the students themselves among the students it is extremely well uh, professors it is good if see um, there are two things like our batch chd that is my branch there are only 20 people in one branch in in my year so the connection personal connection that you have with the prof the humanities prof especially that is very good but if you consider let's say branch like cse btech in cse four years that batch has around 150 students so it is practically not possible to keep connection with each you and every student on on yeah exactly but overall if uh, the profs are very approachable you have a uh, uh, there are person who are called teaching assistants tas basically they are your seniors ug3 people ug3 or ug4 they are your closest contact which you can approach them any time if you have any academic related issues you can easily approach them you can just maybe message them because they are your senior so when you come here you will meet them you will get to know them so they are very very friendly and very very approachable so there is not an issue but if there are let's say serious academic issues you need some deadline extension and all uh, you can easily reach out to the prof via mail so it is not an issue and i have a last question to you uh, what are your future plans future plans uh, as of now i just want to i'm focusing on my current year obviously and as of now i just want to complete my btech complete my research as fast as possible and get a good job and a placement great i wish we wish you all the best for the future thank you and thank you for being the best prep part yes thanks a lot thank you